Hey everyone, how's it going? Steph here from The Secret Slob and we are on day eight, day eight of our 21 days to a clean home challenge. And today is one of my all time favorite days because it is my number one thing that has changed my life when it comes to organization, it's making a plan and writing it down. So when I first started getting organized, I used a blank sheet of paper to write all my routines down on. But since then, I made this weekly cleaning schedule and it's basically a hub for all of my routines, all of my cleaning stuff, everything to do with my house in one week goes on this piece of paper, comes out of my brain, <laughs> onto here, and I don't feel like I have a million things floating around in my head. If you don't have one of these yet, head over to the website and grab one, they're totally free. And if you don't speak English, you can grab one in another language. I think I have 10 available now. Thank you to everyone who helped me translate them. This sheet will help you break down what you have to do into small chunks so it doesn't feel like it's all piled up on you at once. It also helps me to divide up the tasks in a way that makes sense for my life. So because we're only on day eight right now, we're just gonna focus on the top, on the routine section. And then as we move through the rest of the 21 steps, you can add things in and fill it out. And like I say, change it up, see how it's gonna work best for you. So let's start back on day number one with shining up your sink. I like to do it in the evening, so I'm gonna put it over here on evening routine. Okay, there it is. Next, on day number two, we tackle getting dressed every day. So if you work outside the home and that was a totally free check mark for you, you could write it down and get a free check mark. But if it's something you need to work on, definitely write it down. So I'm gonna put it down. I like to just get the free easy check mark. Next, on day three, we tackle dishes and counters. So this is when I actually divide up. In the morning, I'm gonna put empty my dishwasher, and in the evening, I'm gonna put start dishwasher and counters. So even though we tackled it on one day, technically it can be broken up. But again, you split it up how it works best for you. Okay, there we go. On day number four, we did make your bed. So that, for me, happens in the morning. It's going on the morning routine. And then power tidy. So this one might be something you put in the morning. For me, I put it in the evening, afternoon. I like to usually get it done at the end of the day. Here we go. On day six, we tackled laundry. So this is another one that I split up. I know some people like to plow through one load of laundry in the morning, and that's awesome. I usually split mine up starting it in the morning and finishing it up in the evening after my kids have gone to bed. Okay. Yesterday we added floor check to our routine. Again, I do this one in the evening because we usually make a mess all day. And if I do the floor check at night, I can start the next day with a clean floor. So I'm gonna add floor check to my evening routine. So there we go. That's every step we've gotten so far. So whatever day it is today, go ahead and check off the things you've already gotten done. Don't worry if you miss a check mark. Don't worry if you miss a lot of check marks. Life happens and all you can ever do is your best with the time and energy you have. This is just a tool to help you track and remember what you have to do. If you miss something, that's all good. It's right there the next day. Get that check mark the next day or the next day, it'll all come around. I always like to say the goal for this is getting most of the things done most of the time and that's gonna make enough of a difference to change your house. All right, so there's our weekly plan. Have a look at the rest of the sheet. It'll give you a pretty good idea of what we're gonna do the next couple weeks. Have a look to see if your evening routine and morning routine are balanced or if some things maybe need to be switched up to make it easier for you. So going forward, we're gonna keep this list with us and this is what we're gonna to use to create our own personal system. So go ahead right now, check off the things you've already gotten done today and maybe work on some of the things you haven't. Either way, we're making progress, we're moving forward and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you wanna dive deeper into this challenge, head to my website, www.thesecretslob.com and pick up the 21 Days to a Clean Home Workbook. It breaks down the challenge day by day and helps guide you as you set up systems that work for you.